Hi everyone, Yebni Moon. My name is Shaika Plazier, and I'm back with another video. I'm back and I'm better. Back and I'm better. So please don't forget to subscribe to this channel before you continue watching. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm back again. You know, I had to settle in before you don't see the consistent on YouTube. But now I'm back and I'm better. For today's video, I'd just like to speak to you guys about moving. The things that you need to factor in when you're moving. You can't just wake up and you say, hey, I'm going to move and you just pack your bags and go. No, it does not work like that. <laughs> You need to have a plan. Aside from speaking to God and having that confirmation and that peace within yourself to know that the move that you're going to do is within God's will, you need to have an actual plan to give God to work with. You need to have a plan for yourself, a plan for your life. You don't just get up and say, hey, I want to go here. And you just end up in another city or state without necessarily having a plan or you know whatnot. But I do understand there are instances in the Bible and instances where God has told people to just get up and go. But at the end of the day, you need to have a plan regardless. God works with a plan, get a plan. So to start off with, the first thing that I would say is super important when moving to factor in is pay and cost. You need to figure out how much they pay. What is the salary for your profession? If you have a profession, or what is the salary that you would be receiving within your major in that city or state so that you can know what you're working with. That is super important. Cost, figure out what the cost is of living, the cost of living, the cost to eat, the cost of travel. Figure all of that, figure out how much that's gonna cost so that you can have a plan, you can have a budget, you can have something saved up that will be smart to work with because you know what the cost you're working with. If you do not know the cost of where you're going or how you're gonna live, how you're gonna eat, you're gonna fall into some dilemma. It's super important to know that because you'll know what you're working with. You won't suffer so much because you already factored in, hey, this was gonna be the cost. You're not surprised when they tell you, hey, this costs three or five dollars more than how much it costs in your city. A perfect example that I can use is the fact that I love Chick-fil-A. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys that are watching feel the same way. And if you don't, then I don't know. I think you're seriously missing out. But um, I love Chick-fil-A with all my heart. So one of the things that I did factor in when I was moving was Chick-fil-A. <laughs> it's just amazing. I mean, I think they should sponsor me now at this point. So anyways, that's besides the point. In Miami, normally when I get a spicy deluxe meal, it's around $10. Now, when I get to New York, and I got here and I realized that the spicy deluxe meal that I normally get was about $15. It was almost close to $15, but probably like $14.60 or something like that. I was like, hmm, this is interesting. <laughs> you need to factor in the cost because certain places in certain cities or states cost more. Maybe because they pay more. I don't know what it is, but sometimes it's because the, they pay more. For example, in New York, I know for a fact that they pay way more than they do in Florida. So factor those in so that you can know and you're not just walking blindly into a move, you know? So, livre moi pour toi pour connaître combien de cob y a payé ou dans l'autre état que vous voulez vivre là-dedans ou bien dans l'autre city que vous voulez vivre là-dedans. Connais combien de cob y a payé ou connais Combien le coûte pour vivre dans le pays hein? Parce que si vous ne connaissez pas tout le bagage, ce n'est pas facile pour vivre. Vous comprenez Il faut connaître ça pour capable de gagner une idée de combien de cobles coûte pour manger, combien de cobles coûte pour vivre, combien de cobles coûte pour la transportation. Si vous ne connaissez pas ça, si vous ne connaissez pas ça, vous avez un gros trouble. Ça, c'est un bagage pour penser avec les gens qui mouvent et les gens qui vivent dans une autre place, ou bien dans autre état, ou bien dans autre pays. Ok Now, number two. Number two, I hope you guys are taking notes. If you're not taking notes, I'll give you like two seconds to take notes and papers or your phone to figure out, you know, your life. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, now two, factor in the weather. Factor in the weather. <laughs> I say this because when I got here, it was summer, it was summertime, right? I'm used to Florida. Florida, Miami is summertime all around all around it's summertime i mean it's hot all the time i'm used to it i know that every day of my life living in miami i can leave the house in a tank top if i wanted to because it will always be almost the same weather it will be the same weather 
Now, New York, it does not work like that. It does not. Okay, you can wake up in the morning and it's freezing. And then a little bit towards the middle, it gets a little bit hotter, but it's still cold regardless. So in Miami, you get a little whiff of wind, but then, you know, it's pretty much still hot throughout the whole day. You know, once it reaches that 12 p.m. or 2 p.m. mark, it's like blazing hot. But over here, summer is summer, winter is winter. So <laughs> it sticks to the season. With Miami, it wasn't really a season. It was just summer all around. So I say this to say, be very mindful of the weather of wherever you move to, because I'm going to tell you that it varies. In Florida, you don't got to worry. You know that you're going to wear shorts or jeans or t-shirt or whatever all year round. But here it does not work that way. For summer, you can work, wear shorts and a t-shirt. And in winter, you're wearing a, boot, a big old coat because you don't want to freeze into a popsicle or icicle. So I say this to say, factor in the weather so you can factor in your clothes, so you can factor in a wardrobe, factor in um, how you're gonna adjust to that. If you're gonna drink some hot cocoa or tea in the morning, factor in what's the best convenient ways to travel. If you know that it's snowing almost all the time, take the subway, do things to avoid traffic. All of that is important. Weather is important so that you can know where to stay near to. For example, if I lived in Florida, if I were someone that was moving to Florida, I would not get a house on the beach. Why? Because we have hurricanes. So whenever the water and the tide is rising high, sometimes your house can get damaged. Those are important factors to think about. Think about the weather. So deuxièmement, si vous êtes move dans une autre place, une autre état, une autre côté, pensez de temps. Pensez de si la farine, si la neige, si fait un bac comme ça, si la toujours fait la pluie, parce que faut connait place que pral vivre la dame m'a répété ça encore si ou pas connait ou a gain difficulté vivre dans place que vous voulez vivre la dame et pour exemple dans floride il fait chaud presque toute année so on connait pas jamais besoin acheter gros bout jacket parce que on connait la chaud pour toute année so pensez de ça pensez à ça faut connait ça pour capable connait qui gens ou pral conduit non faut connait si ou capable vivre dans une place qui chaud si ou capable vivre dans une place qui frette si ou capable um, vivre dans une place qui fait la pluie en pile si ou pas gain machine et ou connait ou pral vivre dans une place qui cap fait en pile la pluie faut penser à ça faut penser hmm, est-ce que le vraiment smart pour move dans une place comme ça like penser de tout bagage ça now three the third thing that i would recommend is definitely transportation Think of transportation, okay? Figure out whether or not, do you have a car? Are you gonna keep the car that you have and move it to that place? Factor in all of those things. You know, for example, for me, I had a car in Florida and I was always used to driving in Florida, almost all the time. Since I graduated high school, I've never taken public transportation because I had a car all the time. And I pretty much drove to anywhere that I needed to go to. And when it was time to move, I was like, hey, I don't think my car is worth it to even transfer it over here because first off especially with the snow how am i gonna drive in the snow with this car i'm like nah it's not gonna be smart to do that N next thing you know i also thought about hey the city i live in the city new york city so for the most part there's always traffic there's always you know a, a means of transportation whether it's the subway or the train or taxis or the cab or van there's so many ways to travel in new york so when i thought about it it was not really necessarily smart to transfer my car here because there's so many ways to travel and i'm living in the city it's not like i'm living in long island or you know deep upstate new york or anything like that because you know that hey i have this means of transportation and not just that you spend less time less time certain places in new york i can't even park there's not even parking and then there's traffic. So when you think about it, you spend more time. Now, if you're going to places like Long Island or places in Queens and things like that, instead of Manhattan and Brooklyn, certain places in Brooklyn have parking as well. I'm gonna make it seem like there's no parking at all, but I'm just saying, be wise and intentional about how you're gonna transport, how you're gonna get to wherever you need to go, how you're gonna travel. So troisièmement, faut qu'on ait mode de transportation ou utiliser non état ou bien pays que va vivre là-dedans pour connait si besoin si recob non y ont côté pour acheter une machine ou bien si pas même besoin une machine gain de place ou pas besoin machine pour exemple New York City ou pas besoin machine dis ça connia parce que gain pile trafic et puis gain pile mode de transportation ou gain train ou gain bus ou gain taxi ou gain dollar van gain pile mode de transportation 
So si vous vivez dans cette ville, vous pas même besoin de machine vraiment. Si vous voulez une machine, c'est un luxe pour vous, mais ce n'est pas un bagage que, que vous vraiment besoin. Pensez de tout bagage, pensez de transportation, qui mode de transportation vous pouvez utiliser pour la place que vous pouvez vivre là-dedans. Now, fourth and final for this video. Factor in savings. Yes. Why do I say savings? Because when you're moving, there's always going to be something that you forgot to factor in. And whether or not your job is transferable, you're going to need to have a good amount of savings, okay? It's super important that you have some money saved up because you have to get furniture. That's one. If you're not transferring furniture over. Move. I'm not talking about your personal savings. Don't take out of your personal savings for your move. I see you. Don't do it. <laughs> but have a savings set for that move because you don't know. You don't know. There's always going to be some curveball because you're not used to the area. So there's always going to be some expense that you realize, hey, I needed to pay for this. You realize that, hey, I didn't factor in that this is going to be higher. Think of all of that. And I say to think of these pointers before you move so that you're not surprised by the time that you get there. Okay? So, quatrième et dernièrement, forcez comme à part parce que vous pas jamais connaît. Toujours gagnant dépenses ou gagnant bagaille pour payer que pas que dans budget pour payer. OK? Toujours gagnant emergency, toujours gagnant bagaille qui vini et puis on dit oh, m'pas connait femme te payer ça. Ça sont l'autre corb qui sorti dans poche ou que pas penser avec. Réfléchis de toute bagaille ça pour capable connait OK, m'va le payer pour ça, m'a mettre corb à part pour ça. Mettre corb à part pour transportation, mettre corb à part pour manger, mettre corb à part pour capable vivre. Mettre corb à part pour capable faire un petit shopping. <laughs> mettre corb à part pour les problèmes venir ou bien les yon lot dépenses euh, pour pas faire surprise parce que tu es en paré pour lui. Si ou paré pour lui en avance, t'es tout pas chaud. <laughs> okay so these are my pointers of when you're moving i hope this was helpful to you um those are things that i had to think about when i was moving and even though i was super strategic and very meticulous with my spending and my budgeting and planning there were still certain emergency you know um, expenses that i had to spend so i say this just so that you guys can have a uh, an idea okay I love you guys. Those are the tips that I wanted to give you. I hope that this was helpful for you and that you guys stay blessed and know that you are loved always.